my dear friends welcome to ims gate academy my name is saurav upadhyay and in this session we are going to see that how to cross 60 marks in gate 2025 for the mechanical paper or at least be around that 60 mark because my dear friends these last 2 3 years have taught us that if we are around the 60 marks we can still get a very good rank and can you know can uh, approach many psus and many top iits for mtech right these this video is also for those students who have been preparing for the last 2 3 months or so but still haven't found their you know rhythm like yes i am going to be you know completing successfully all the subjects in time with proper concepts uh, uh, building and can still practice a lot of numericals so they have not still haven't found a good rhythm so this is for them i ha i will be very selective in some of the subjects that we will do this we will do that because that's the only way that from now we can touch the 60 marks i am assuming that the average difficulty level of the paper will be somewhat close to the last have what come in the last 2 3 years that means a good level and uh, you know 60 is a benchmark score actually because uh, you know 60 if you get 60 marks you will be close to you know 500 600 rank right so my dear friends let's start the video and i can say that if you follow what i'm going to say in the video you will you are going to benefit a lot right again you need not blindly follow whatever i say you can just add your you know mixture whatever from your side and you can just mold it to suit yourself completely right so my dear friends let's so this is the you know you can see that it's the pdf of the syllabus of mechanical that have been released by iit roorkee and let's get the video going my dear friends this the we'll start with engineering maths first of all and i would say that engineering maths will come for how much marks it would come for a uh, 13 marks so my dear friends i would suggest you do complete these 13 marks because because you know that you cannot afford to leave any of the topics and these topics are more or less if you if you know the basics if you start preparing for one chapter you will eventually be easily completing this you know all the topics so and it will not take that much time also so i would suggest that yes do complete the entire of engineering maths don't leave because basically what will happen if you leave you 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 start with algebra you complete it you complete calculus vector calculus everything and finally if you leave let's say you know numerical methods and a easy two mark question will come from there you will regret a lot so i would suggest do this and when i say when i say that you try to complete this it means i know that it is not going to be a very difficult thing that you study and replicate that in the examination when i'm saying you have to study it means it means that you can replicate whatever you have studied in the examination hall so we will avoid the very important topics now when i say that you study all the topics let's say you face you are facing difficulty in one of one or two topics three four topics you are facing very difficulty understanding the concept so you can leave that is not a very big issue anyway going forward now let us come to engineering mechanics and my dear friends this is the first subject where we are going to do some selective study in engineering mechanics if your basics are good so you will be very easily able to understand free body diagram equilibrium frictions rolling friction you know these are some of the basic concepts and i am seeing that you know a question on basic concept it do comes in the engineering mechanics so it will even if you study separately it will not you know uh, uh, you know take a lot of time and you can very easily devote so you know some minimum time in this now apart from that brakes clutches screw jack wedge vehicles all these things you can leave it right you can leave it i'm you know it's uh, obviously everyone 
I would if you had a starting preparation one year back, I would have told complete everything. But from now, when three to four months are left, you can skip all these topics. You can simply focus on trusses and frames because there's a good chance that a question from truss is going to come, right? So if I if I if I just include trusses you are studying and some basic concepts you are studying. So if I was assuming that five marks in general mechanics is going to come. So let's say that you have studied of let's say I'm keeping a very minimum two marks or two marks you have studied from engineering mechanics, right? Let's come to the next subject and that is SOM. My dear friends, I am sure that almost everyone do study strength of materials and it's my humble request that don't leave any topics, complete everything from SOM. Try to complete everything, one or two topics. If you're finding it very difficult, you can skip. Anyway, so I'm going to assume that SOM will come for, let's say seven marks on an average. So yes, we'll complete this. Next, next comes the theory of machines. And my dear friends, here we have to be a bit selective. Yes. So we'll be focusing on displacement, velocity, acceleration analysis. That is simple mechanisms, cams, gears, gear trains, very, very important gear and gear trains. We can expect one question at least from here. Flywheel governor balancing based on your interest and based on your understanding of the concepts, you can just see, you can try to cover most of the things from here in case of theory of machines. And my dear friends, if you have not yet touched vibrations till now, so it will become a bit difficult for you to study vibration, then practice a lot of questions and then replicate that in the examination hall. It will become very difficult. Yes, my dear friends. So if you ask me, if you have not a very good concept of vibrations, you can skip this vibration topics, but theory of machines, the previous, you know, these questions, you know, the from topics from here, you can definitely in, with most of the focus on gear and gear trends and displacement velocity analysis means uh, you can study these topics and I'm assuming that if I if on an average 10 marks of Tom question comes in the examination so let's assume that you have prepared only five marks right yes this much you will prepare from these topics going forward so vibrations I am just cancelling as of now going forward comes machine design my dear friends now Machine design, uh, you know, four to five marks you can expect in the examination. Do complete design for static and dynamic loading failure theories. That is the, you know, fatigue loading concepts. All these things are easy and you can, you know, cover in a very short time. Ascent diagram, very, very important, my dear friends. Yes, you can just, uh, that for, you know, you can cover it. Fatigue loading concept that log in, uh, you know, the graph that is there. Soderberg rule, Goodman theory, all these things you can, you know, cover. Rolling and sliding contact bearings depends on your interest, depends on your understanding. If you want, you can cover. If you don't want, just leave. Bolts, riveted, welded joints, although I feel that chances of joint question this year is very high. But if you don't understand or, you know, if you just don't find interesting, you can just leave it as of now. Okay. So MD, again, I'm uh, just, I'm asking you whatever you can, you just cover, but focus mainly on, mainly on SN diagram and static dynamic loading and the failure theory. So again, I'm assuming that you are preparing for two marks from here. That is four marks. So I'm just halving it, two marks you are preparing, right? The joints, you can, uh, if you find it difficult, you can just skip as of now. There is no issue at all. Now coming to fluid mechanics and thermal sciences, my difference is another very important uh, two subjects. Let's talk about fluid mechanics. Fluid mechanics, it's, uh, uh, you know, questions, uh, if you are studying it for the first time, from now onwards, replicating in the examination will be tricky. I feel it will be difficult, in fact, if a two marks difficult question comes. Let's say you have studied uh, force, force system, you know, the forces on submerged bodies you have studied. So if you, you have to practice a lot of questions in order to replicate that in the examination. So what I would suggest, I would suggest cover fluid properties, cover fluid kinematics, fluid kinematics you can cover, 
stability of flowing floating bodies that is the buoyancy concepts you can cover you know the fluid acceleration will come under uh, kinematics you can cover this and flow through pipes you can have to definitely cover you have to definitely cover my dear friends apart from that you know you can skip all these boundary layer viscous flow now I know that most of the people have studied it, who have studied already this is not for you but who are yet to study you can focus very selectively on the topics that I said. FM comes for around 8 marks so I am just assuming that you have covered only 4 marks from here. Yes and this is realistic and this will not take your time. Now in this 4 marks what will, what will be included flow through pipes. Now see these are very important topics, questions definitely has a good chance of coming from here. Fluid properties, fluid statics, then your kinematics one you know vorticity, then uh, circulation concepts, uh, angular velocity all these concepts can come, uh, acceleration all these things can come from there. And uh, yes I know that uh, force, uh, forces on submerged bodies uh, that is fluid dynamics is very very important one question has to come but it is all about what should be what is the best thing to do from now onwards ok. Moving forward my dear friends heat transfer is such a subject which I would recommend you to complete everything yes last year 8 marks came and it will not take much of your time try to complete all the things with the exception definitely being there. So I am assuming 6 marks is going to come from HT and you are going to cover most of the topics from here ok. Moving forward my dear friends thermodynamic and application, thermodynamics is such a subject my dear friends which if you understand the basic thermodynamics ATD is not going to take a lot of your time right. So try to cover the entire basic thermodynamics and in application part you can skip few topics for example uh, IC engine we will be doing completely. Uh, you know auto diesel cycles and vapor Rankine cycle and Brayton cycle will be doing RAC, RAC we have to cover everything you know uh, uh, you know uh, re regeneration, reheat, Rankine uh, you know the Brayton cycle and Rankine cycle performance parameters all these things we have to cover. Now this part of FM and turbo machinery, turbo machinery now this I am giving leaving on you that if you obviously this is a part of FM not your thermal in FM and application it will be coming that is a turbo machinery part. Uh, if you want you can go or you can just skip my difference if you are finding it very difficult right. I am not in any favor that you just put pressure on your brain and just try to cover this no. So in application you can be selective it depends my dear friends I am not uh, you know forcing anything but what are the important topics RAC is important rank in Brayton. Rankine, Britain and IC engines these 5 topics at least you cover with some basic concepts of compressor if possible if not just leave it and uh, you know. Uh, so I am just assuming that 10 marks of thermal you are covering although 12 marks of thermal comes so 10 8 to 10 marks you are covering from here. Then comes the production part my dear friends I know you also know that production comes for around 18 marks and uh, most of the people will try to cover the entire of production. So yes it is a uh, you know it is a topic which if you are comfortable with uh, do try to complete everything uh, depending on which topics you are finding it easier, which topics you are finding it very difficult you can just skip but easier topics, moderate topics try to cover it. Production 18 marks comes I am just assuming that if you are uh, if you are preparing some 12 marks from here. So that might help you a lot ok. And this as such there is not a very difficult topic in production so I am not asking you that leave this leave that it all depends try to cover as much as possible ok including metrology also. Last comes industrial engineering my dear friends yes I am asking you to complete the entire industrial engineering it is a very easy subject and I am, uh, I am assuming that you know 6 marks of it is going to come last year 8 marks came this time I am assuming 5 to 6 marks is going to come from here. So now this is the end ok. Now my dear friends if you if you just add all these marks if you add all these marks you know 5, five marks from here 12 marks from here 
12 marks from here, 10 marks from here, 6 marks from HD, 4 marks, 2 marks, uh, you know, yes, and uh, you know, 5 marks from whatever we discussed. If you add all the things, you will be approximately touching 60, you know, 66, 67 marks. If you count that, you are going to get 66, 67 marks roughly, right. So, uh, you would ask me that sir, 67 marks if you prepare, how are we going to get 60 plus marks? Remember, aptitude comes for 15 marks, right. In that 15 marks, you, I am just, just saying that randomly, if you solve 7 to 8 marks questions correctly, 7 to 8 marks questions correctly, I am just halving it, 50 percent if you solve from aptitude, so that would take you to round about 75 zone, right. So, um, uh, you know aptitude again it is a bit of luck I would say, no need to lose sleep over aptitude, trust your basic skills, you know whatever you have been doing it till now. So that whatever I told the topics plus half marks of aptitude everything will take you to 75. So 75 marks if you prepare very neatly, again you know in the examination you would commit mistakes, so I am subtracting you know you can 10, 15 marks if you just subtract from there. So round about you will be reaching that 60 zone, right and my dear friends make no mistake from the last 2, 3 years the people who are st you know reaching this uh, you know 55, 60 range they are actually doing very good, they are actually getting a lot of opportunities, yes. So, you know, I would say that from now onwards also, if you are able to reach 55 plus marks, you are definitely going to get a lot of things, you know, after the gate examination, right. So, this is it from my part. Let me know in the comment section if you feel that, sir, uh, this part I can cover, this part I cannot cover or this much. Whatever you feel about this, you can let me know in the comment section and I will try to reply it. So this is it my dear friends, you follow this and uh, you just whatever I told, you take some part from me, take, you add your portion, whatever you think, your strategy to this and try to make your own, you know, uh, version of this uh, strategy and I am sure that it is going to work, right. So do give your best, exam is not far away, you know, all the very best and we will be coming up with such strategy videos every now and then. So this is it, thank you very much, take care, God bless.